Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. So today, we're going to Ilium, a new hub world. But first, let's explore. Ponolus, a fairly typical Venusian hothouse, Ponolus seems almost tame compared to the violent volcanic outbursts of the inner world Berigil. In contrast, Ponolus is nearly inert, with no active volcanoes or plate tectonics. The most dramatic event in the last million years was the founding... Foundering? I'm guessing that's supposed... I don't know. Foundering of the Asari Aerostat Research Platform Alv Alvusich in 2092, which fell after being holed by an improbably lucky unlucky meteor. Oof. Most of the crew successfully reached escape capsules, but six were lost. The crushed wreck of the platform now lies on the crew site plane in the southern hem hemisphere. That is unlucky. Probe away. Tragedy for those lost. This is Bergale. While not a classical hot host world like Venus, Bergale. Bergale. Typo! This. Uh, ah, few typos here. Few typos in this game. Uh, is scarce. Uh, Berigale is scarcely more hospitable. In addition to being okay, so while not a classical hot house world like Venus, Berigale is ex is scarcely more hospitable. In addition to being closest to the star to sail, its core contains many radioactive, many radioactives and other heavy elements. These increase the heat of the planets and drive volcanism. Can it be increase the heat of the planet? Berigale's crust is too rigid for plate tectonics to function, and the planet will go through cycles in which the pressure builds to a massive supervolcanic eruption. These spew ejecta eh, over thousands of kilometers, leave caldera 100 kilometers across, and spew enough molten material to repave entire continents. Wow, that's pretty impressive. The last such event was 812,000 years ago. The current rate of outgassing from volcanic hotspots hot suggests another will occur within the next 10 millennia. So right around the corner then. No time at all. Naxel is an ammonia methane ice giant. Several smaller energy corporations, shut out of the big market in the FIA gateway system, are attempting to develop a local helium free fuel mining infrastructure to service Ilium. The leading investor is the human corporation Eldfell Ashland Energy. Their efforts have been hampered by the extra legal pressure the H3 cartels and FIA system can bring to bear, from simple price undercuts to bureaucratic obstructions, denied permits, and constant health and safety inspections. Population of 6700, capital EAE Krafia. Speaking of Eldfell Ashland, uh, the Cerberus Daily News that I have mentioned in the past uh, had uh, a few articles talking about uh, Aish Atlan, uh, who is uh, sort of a Paris Hilton like figure, uh, a socialite who is uh, constantly in the news for various uh, antics and controversies. Um, so yeah, there were quite a few uh, articles about her. Also, there was a Cerberus Daily News article about uh, conflicts between Corians and Eldfell Ashland over mineral rights in the Nubian Expanse. Uh, I believe one of those... I believe one of the articles, uh, or some of the articles were about uh, a ship being, or an Elfville Ashland ship being destroyed, and uh, Elfville Ashland initially blamed the Quarians, but then there was a survivor who was found uh, who said that it wasn't the Quarians. I believe that uh, that there were a few articles about that. 
that's me sort of going off of my, uh, going off memory. But yeah, I believe that. Uh, and I think the implication seemed to be that it might have been the collectors who destroyed the uh, Elthal Ashland uh, ships. Regarding, as always, a lot of interesting uh, articles uh, on the Cerberus Daily News, which you can find through the uh, the Mass Effect Wiki. They've got all the articles there. Including including an article that referred to Valentine's Day uh, as a holiday themed around romantic love and the greeting card indus industry. Which is not an inaccurate description of Valentine's Day. But anyway. Moving on. Probe launched. I will save my money for now. Because there's going to be stuff to buy on helium. Thale is a typical hydrogen helium gas giant. Its complex system of rings is unstable, dating back only a few million years. They are thought to be the shattered remains of a comet. Probe launched. Fascinating. Alright. And now. Helium. Yeah, there's the Jessica and the Assassin. I will get them both, but not. I won't be getting either of them this episode. Uh, this episode is going to be just me running around Helium doing uh, side quests. Helium is a classic garden world developed to serve as an entrepot. Entrepot. Entrepot between the Terminus Systems and the Asairi Republics. I should have looked up how to pronounce that. In fact, give me a second, I'm gonna look up how to pronounce that, cause... I'm... Actually, I'm not even sure... I'm not even sure what it exactly means. That seems to be just entrepot or entrepot. Let's try this one. Enter pot. Enter pot. There is no way that's how it's pronounced. Enter pot. I'm sorry, Enter there's there is no way that's how it's pronounced. It's clearly a French word. Ah, whatever. If I'm wrong, someone will correct me in the comments. Hopefully. Maybe. Eh, maybe not. I haven't been getting any comments anyway. As a reminder, feel free to leave comments. Please. Please leave comments. Uh, anyway. Uh, to a, yeah, so Ilium is a classic garden world developed to serve as an entrepot between the Terminus systems and the Asari Republic. To abet this trade, the normally stringent customs laws of, Citadel, of Council Space on product safety, prescribed materials, and sapient trafficking are relaxed. Officially, Ilium is not an Asari world. It is colonized and operated by Asari corporate interests. This gives it the same legal latitude enjoyed by the human corporate research enclaves of Novaria. Ilium is one of the youngest Asari colonies settled during the seventh expansion wave. The first child born in the world is only now reaching her middle age. 
the world is hot and massive. Ground settlement is only possible at the higher polar latitudes. In more equatorial locations, the population is housed in arcology sky skyscrapers to escape the heat of the surface. Colony founded in 1617. So yeah, that is, uh... That's not old by sorry standards. Surface population of 84,900,000. Pretty nice, pretty big size. Uh, population on L4 and L5 stations, 80,300. Capital of Nozostra. And, uh... Picture there gives you a little bit of a glimpse at uh, Asari architecture. A lot of curves. So who to bring with me? Let's bring Tally. And Kasumi. Because there's no reason not to. Master Thief, yay! Uh, Kasumi specializes in her tech mastery, greatly reducing the recharge time of her top powers. Kasumi specializes in weapon combat, increasing her weapon damage. For her, I'm gonna go with uh, power recharge time. Because Shadow Strike is so good. Oh, speaking of which, yes. And Korean Machinus. Tally is operating at peak efficiency, increasing the duration of her powers. Modest cybernetics and immune enhancers and increase her health. And Tally's expertise in engineering, firearms of all kinds, increases her weapon damage. Modest cybernetics and immune enhancers and increase her health. I don't want to check something. So, yeah. increased time for combat drone. AI hacking is not worthwhile in this game. I'm just going to say that right now. AI hacking is not worth bothering with. Um, you know, there are some missions with mechs. And there will be... A couple more missions with uh, with Geth. Spoiler, but honestly, it's just not worth bothering with. So as a result, Mechanic have her do more damage, and I'm genuinely not going to bother with AI hacking. Energy drain is actually much more useful once I get it. The drains enemies connect barriers to boost your shields. That is very useful. Far more useful than AI hacking. And yeah, I'd rather have I'd rather have as many things maxed out as I can. Kelly. And here we go. Ilium. That is one pretty view, isn't it? That's a gorgeous skyline. Uh-oh. Walking up with mechs right off the bat, that's never... That's seldom Welcome a good sign. Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Okay. Well, never mind. I'm fine with the mechs there, then. Who instructed you to waive the fees? 
The order came from Liara to Sony, who paid all fees <gasps> on your behalf. Liara? She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. Liara! My girl! You said Liara was here? What is she doing? Liara is one of Nosostra's most respected information brokers. Nosostra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. And I'm looking forward to seeing her. You mentioned trading. What gets traded on Ilium? Anything you can imagine, Commander. Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can afford it. In order to remain competitive as a Terminus Systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided they are labeled properly. Fair. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. You can even buy indentured servants. Now we have a problem. I can't believe an Asari world would allow slavery. We try to avoid calling it slavery. Of course you do. All indentured servants on Ilium have voluntarily agreed to a term of service. Mm -hmm. Most choose indentured service as a means to pay off debt or avoid imprisonment. A contract holder is responsible for the well-being of her servants, and a servant's duties are agreed upon before the contract is signed. So, they make it as... respectable as possible. Yeah, it's still slavery. What can you tell me about Nosostra? It's an exciting city. We see a lot of new cultures and goods because of our proximity to the Terminus systems. A lot of danger to it, I imagine. At the same time, Ilium is still in a sorry world. You should be as safe here as you would be on the Citadel. Should For your be. own safety, however, Wait. I recommend against signing anything. You should be as safe here as you are on the Citadel as you would be on the Citadel. Do you have any idea how many times I've been attacked on the Citadel? I almost died on the Citadel. <laughs> I'm Commander Shepard. There's nowhere I can go that's going to be safe because everywhere I go, somebody's going to try to shoot me. And I'm going to have to blow something up. What's so dangerous about signing something? Ilium is a free trade world, Commander. Contract term requirements are more relaxed here than on other planets. It's a small price to pay for keeping our competitive edge and goods from the Terminus systems. Do you have any recommendations about what to do on Nosastra? Our trading center is directly ahead. You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on Nosastra that you can't find anywhere else in the galaxy. Sounds good. I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Her outfit is weird. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. It was suspenders. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. Sounds good. Yeah, look, like this. He's got, like, suspenders there. They're, like, horses. Like, they're just, like, weird mini suspenders. It's so weird. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, really interesting ads on this planet. 25. Sell at 25. No, no, no. You're not hearing me. I want to buy it up. Buy it all up. Come on, come on. Give me something. Very few Quarians ever set foot here. Ilium doesn't allow the flotilla to approach beyond a certain distance. This is the greatest planet in the galaxy for those who can afford it, and they work hard to keep the Quarian fleet away. Towers, traffic, lights, and Asari everywhere you look. 
I thought about living here for a while, but everybody's so tight ass. It's all about money to these people. I do what I do for the love of it. These people do it because they don't know any better. <laughs> all right. Are you shorting prefabs? Why not? I did it after Eden Prime. Paid for new exosuits for my kids. <laughs> You're insane. How can you short sell on prefabs after these human colony attacks? They're going to see a ton of business. A ton of immediate charity business. Followed by a freeze as new colony plans dry up. Just watch. Sell! Sell! He's smart. There we go. Run away, you bastards. Give up your colony plans. Hey! That's we'll disgusting. Be a jerk. You're making money off people's fear. <laughs> yes, I am. By the shipload. Whereas your stock just fell like it was in a high gravity environment. Damn it. He's smart, but he's also a jerk. Excuse me. Excuse me, are you Commander Shepard? Yes, I am. You want an autograph? You're Commander Shepard? I saw your... I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked I to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. Oh? I didn't make a lot of friends in Novaria. I can only think of... Uh, well, let's see. Parasini owed me a drink. Uh, Captain Matsu I've seen to be okay with me. I mean, like, she thought I was, you know, disruptive and she wanted me off, her, off the planet so that I wouldn't uh, cause any headaches, but other than that, she seemed to like me well enough. And, uh, and Lee, the uh, the garage, the mechanic, the terrain mechanic, he liked me. Uh, and I guess you know, I guess some of the people I rescued uh, from uh, from the labs, they probably uh, liked me. But okay, who is? I met a lot of people on Novaria. Could you be more specific? I believe the message itself should make it clear. Shepherd, we hide, we borrow, we build. Well, this is unsettling. But we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours, and our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepherd. The Rachni will sing again because of you. Well, that was creepy. The way her mouth moved was unnatural. How did you possess another Asari? You can't just take over people's minds like that. <laughs> Peace, Shepard. The Rachni Queen does not control my thoughts. That was merely the message I was asked to deliver. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. How did you find the Rachni? I was working as a courier. Pirates ambushed my ship, and I was forced down on an uncharted planet. I was badly injured, alone and near death. Then they found me. They saved me. Yeah, well, that's you nice. You obviously got off world again. Did the Rachni give you a ship? No. Countless workers repaired my ship. It runs better now than it did before. They remind me of the keepers on the Citadel in a way, all working together, each with a purpose. What happened to the pirates who attacked you? They were obliterated, as they should have been. The Rachni are not aggressive, but they do what they must. Yeah, I'm not gonna feel bad for the pirates. Can you tell me where the Rachni are? <clears throat> I'm afraid not. I don't even have that information myself any longer. After I met the Rachni Queen, that information was 
removed. It's not painful, but I simply don't remember. I'll remember when I need to. And her caution is understandable. The galaxy isn't yet ready for the return of the Rachni. Probably right. You said the Queen gave you a purpose. What do you mean? The Queen shared her song with me as I recovered. I saw the Rachni as only an Asari could. They are so beautiful and so vulnerable. They needed someone to purchase things they cannot make themselves. Someone to work within the system. An agent, if you will. I am happy to help. My life as a courier was empty and shallow. Now I'm helping a great race rebuild itself. You are really sound nice. comfortable walking away from your old life? You're concerned that the Queen is controlling me. I understand, but it doesn't work like that. Our minds were in perfect harmony. I saw their beautiful spirit and their need. I knew what I had to do. If some part of that is suggestion, then it was a side effect from their efforts to save my life. I am happy. I'm glad. I'm glad that she's doing okay, and I'm glad the Rack and I are doing okay. I got that she was grateful. What else was her message saying? That the first yeah. Rachni war was a mistake. Something soured the voices of her people. We can guess In what? In psychology, that would be like mind control, I think. It doesn't really translate. Anyway, she believes you are fighting the ones who did that, and she promises to help. Safe assumption. She thinks that the Reapers caused the Rachni war? I can't say for sure. But she was certain that her ancestors were forced into war against their will. Her people aren't naturally aggressive. If they made war, it was not of their own doing. I mean, safe assumption that it was the uh, the the Reapers. Yeah. We don't know of anyone else that it possibly could have been. Thank you for giving me that information. I'm glad my friend on Novaria is doing well. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. Ah? Uh, why not? Holy crap, Shepard! I thought you were dead. Oh, uh, hey, yeah, speaking of friends in Novaria. Shepard? The news said you were dead. I what was. Happened? No, wait, probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. And hey, she's not in a dress this time. I'm glad, I'm, I bet she's happy about that. Happy to help. What happened to Administrator Analeas? He made the one mistake Novaria won't tolerate. He got caught taking their money. He's doing a few years in white collar prison. More importantly, he won't work in the field again. Sit down. If I remember right, I owe you a beer. Yes, you do. What brings you Where's to the waitress? Him? You know, that you can talk about. Wait. Are there any wait waiters around here? You ever heard of the collectors? They're attacking human colonies. I'm gonna stop them. Damn, Shepard. For me, a tough job involves more paperwork. You Yeah, I've got it easy, honestly. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. Paperwork's I've awful. gotta go. Talk to you later. And don't forget to drink your beer. Oh? Shepard. Had to leave. Target saw me. Couldn't break cover. A sorry merchant smuggling schematics from Novaria. Can you talk her into showing you good stuff? Happy to. Before I do... I'm looking for the best tech upgrades you have. Of course. I can help you with a consult and figure out what options work for you. Yeah, all right, I'll talk to her. Welcome. You look like someone who needs high quality equipment. Feel free to look around. I do. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. What kind of merchandise do you carry? The latest in biotic upgrades and Omni tool modifications. Very high quality. Sometimes I even get special items in. No promises, of course. Is everything here so expensive? I'd planned to drop a lot of credits today. Really? I'm outfitting yep. a team for a dangerous mission. I need the best, and I'm willing to pay for it, as long as you work with me. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. 
Here, a small discount. And when I get special items in, you can take a look. Speaking of? What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs. Nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. Yeah, that's not something you want to tell people. Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? Well, there is one thing. Very advanced design. Not publicly available yet. That's because it's still in development on Novaria. And illegal for export. Hello, Hermia. Parasini! You set me up! But this isn't Novaria! You don't have the authority to arrest me! I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. <laughs> Shepard. Shepard has her priorities. Do you have the authority to seize the schematic she's trying to sell? I don't have to. Hermia was under suspicion. We leaked a faulty device to her. All this thing will ever do is blow up in your face. I, so can I, I have it? I have to talk to my lawyer. Talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. <laughs> nice. Oh, that was good. I've got to go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute. Yeah, let's see what they do have. Biotic damage. That's probably useful for me. Doubles the time limit for bypass. Not really useful. The unreliability of purely software-based security has given rise to electronic locks based on physical as well as electronic keys. Marketed as unhackable, these locks have gained popularity. Omnitool manufacturers responded by adding universal key capabilities to modern Omnitools. These require some level of skill, like a lockpick, but software assistance makes it possible software assistance makes it possible for competent operatives to bypass most locks in time. Improvements to scanning and auto correction software make it possible to work locks over without tricky defenses. Metagel upgrade, probably useful for me. Kestrel helmet, hideous and not very useful for me. Kestrel armor systems helmet forgoes a traditional trans. Oh, the Kestrel armor systems helmet forgoes traditional transparent visors in favor of a reinforced faceplate with an internal heads up display. The display connects to redundant micro cameras to allow naturalistic vision. And the helmet's weapon auto-targeting and shield software provides a substantial boost to performance. So this is probably useful for... Honestly, this would probably be most useful for infiltrators. Uh, who can line up their uh, shots for uh, with the sniper rifle. The Kestrel Armor System's spinal mount, spinal mount processor synchronizes artificial torso muscle fibers with limb movements allowing power to be generated by the legs, channeled through the core, and projected out through the arms. Stabilization of the firing platform assists in auto-targeting, and waste-mounted capacitors add to the power of kinetic barriers. Melee damage, weapon damage, shield strength. This one might actually be useful, most useful for vanguards. Uh, Kestrel Armor Systems Shoulder Plates has backup capacitors for shield generation. Artificial muscle fibers based on spider silk reinforce the shoulders, allowing for more popular movements. Artificial muscle fibers controlled by the Kestrel Armor Systems Central Processor allow for both gross motor movements and precision support of the hands. This steadies aim in a manner compatible with most firearm auto-targeting systems. Additional capacitors for shield generation, are installed on the owner side of the forearm. Again, meh. The Kestrel Armor Systems Hip Mounted Power Pack provides emergency energy for kinetic barriers and heavy weapons. So, yeah. Uh, not gonna buy anything yet because there's a couple more shops that are worth checking out. Hermia is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. Happy. I love nailing Asari. So ageless and superior. Then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. Well, that isn't a, a double on Condra, I'm sure. It must be nice having a job that you really enjoy. I wanted to be a cop or C-Sec, but my family had bills. I needed the money a corporate job brought in. 
Besides, in this job, you don't see things that make it hard to sleep at night. White collar crime is nice and clean. Hell, at least this Fair. time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. <laughs> How'd you end up on Novaria anyway? Scholarship program and a competitive internship. Turned out I was only middling at the science, but I could always ferret out secrets. You grow up poor and surrounded by rich kids, you get good at hiding yourself. Helps with going undercover. It must be hard going undercover so often. It's not so bad. Go new places, be new people. <laughs> the I only like that. The part is when you go home and try to talk to people and you forget how to react. Like it's another cover, you know? Does sound that does sound weird. Deep down, part of you likes fooling people. That's what makes you good at it. Part of me, yeah. I grew up poor and working class. Now I walk around the rich and powerful taking notes, getting evidence. And they never see me coming. Honestly, I am fully in favor of anyone who screws over rich people. Eat the rich. What's up next for you? Research. We've had some hacking attacks lately, and I want to make sure they're external. A lot of people are suddenly interested in dark energy. There it is. My bosses want to know if it's something to worry about. That'll hold me over until I have to go back undercover anyway. Another reference to dark energy. That makes three, as I recall. There was a uh, Vitor on Freedom's Progress. Then the whole thing on uh, the planet I was just on, whose name is Haystrom, uh, uh, with uh, Haystrom's son. And now this. A lot of references to dark energy. It's been a pleasure, Gianna. You too, Shepard. See you around. to the Kurosa family. Asana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. I'm lucky I got out at all. Her mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get it, I promise. If not, well, we'll just have to hope. I'm not ready to talk to Liara yet. I just want to do some more shopping. And... I also thought that Blast yes! The first NR Spectre would play by the rules. Yes! Yes. They were wrong. This one doesn't have time for your solid waste excretions. He's got a lover in every port and a gun in every tentacle. And kindle this. Blasto the jellyfish stings available for extranet purchase this fall from Ilium Entertainment. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I wanted so much for that ad to play. That is the best somebody animated that like literally somebody like animated what we like what little we hear of it which is just amazing apparently it comes from a joke from uh the bioware forums um yeah yeah, it comes from a joke from the Bioware forums. Uh, I think from one of the game developers. Uh, just came up with this utterly ridiculous idea of a Hanar Spectre. And it was such a ridiculous and amazing idea that they had to. Like, they, like, they didn't have a choice but to include it.
so yeah I just absolutely love that bit so good and uh Yeah, it's just, ah, oh, it's the best. On a side note, there's a Blasto comic. So Dark Horse put out a bunch of uh, Bioware comics, and it included a Blasto one-shot. Blasto, eternity is forever. Everyone loves uh, Blasto. It's one like it's it's absolutely one of the one of the most popular memes. Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know; some of them seem dangerous. That's yep. the whole point. Danger means more contract work for us. Not wrong. For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's horrible. There's yep. a 12-page contract for shipping, then a waiver for use. I charged for 50 hours, plus overtime. Nice. But yeah, that sounds deeply messed up. You can sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? These are the Terminus systems. Everything's dangerous, and everything's for sale. Either we tax and monitor it to keep some control, or the smugglers get a monopoly. I'm not sure which of them is talking. I don't know, that still sounds like an awful thing to legalize. All the dangers are right there on the package. It's legally required. Who reads labels, though? So consider it a way to weed out the people too stupid to know their limits. I don't necessarily disagree with that. Nah, I do. I disagree with that, Sometimes unfortunately. you say these things, and I don't know. Maybe it's because you had a Batarian father. Hey. Wow, you're pulling that on me? My father was an excellent caretaker. And you're, you're... The word you're looking for is pure blood. Oof. Yeah, I remember it's hey, a slur. We're friends. I have never called you that. No, but you're thinking about it. You think it was easy growing up pure blood? I did some stupid things to get away from the taunts. The stupid drug users you're laughing at, I might have been one of them. Well, this just got really sad. I didn't mean Okay, look, I'll take another look at the contract. Maybe it needs to be reclassified. Forget it. Do whatever you want. The attack Sad. on the human colony of Freedom's Progress has generated a swift but confused response. It I'm telling you, relax. Vax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in. Because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. Eclipse mercs, some just a car, I don't know. Nobody is ever going to see the extra merchandise. Which is why we're going to be rich. So transportation to Elysium, Mindwar and Shang-Chi have all been cancelled. Eh. The, uh... The three main... colonies that you can... Oh, hold on. Due to security advisories, flights to human colonies have been... delayed until further notice Please negotiate private transport. Contact the travel representative for more information. Okay, so that makes sense. I guess. I'm on a call. All right. 
You're sure gateway weapons and armor are good enough for Eclipse? Yeah, I've got a friend in Eclipse. She told me what I needed to get. Good. I'm pretty good at bypassing firewalls. Maybe they're looking for techs. Eh, probably. Always a good you always a need for good techs. What about you? Going to try and make it as a commando? Why not? Every Asari has biotics. Might as well use them, right? Damn, that's a hell of a sniper rifle. If you say so. <sighs> I miss being good at sniping. It's just, we're looking for weapons. Shouldn't you be taking this seriously? Hey, I'm 60 years old and finally out of my parents' house. He's a baby! Girls never lack for, um, company. You could get killed. What about you? I'm almost 20. My genetic stats are average and my clan has little political power. For a good reproduction contract, I'll need money. 60 years old, she's just a baby! Liara was considered young at 109. 108? Eclipse might be fun for you. For me, it's the future. My clan's breeding strategy is at stake. Don't Solarians think about anything besides breeding? Don't even start with me. <laughs> the store's over there. And don't get cute. The whole place is monitored. Oh, blue rose of Ilium. Let your roots dig deep into the hot soil of Tachanka. Let our scorching sun and sheeting rain turn your supple beauty into strength. Yep. For if our love is to survive, it must grow thorns to pierce the hand of any that would uproot it. Yep, that's a Krogan spouting poetry. That's a thing. What do you want? Sorry. Sorry, that damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. Is that Krogan bothering you? No, no, you don't need to hurt him or anything. <laughs> He's harmless. Which, I know, Krogan, so it's hard to believe. His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. I mean, yes. It doesn't seem common for a sorry to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy. Really smart. Especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun mm. to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. <laughs> she sounds so she sounds so bitter about it. So why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, no offense. It made me wonder if he really likes me. Or if he just wants kids. He can't have them any other way, you know. Because of the genophage. I love that. Not like dating a human where you just stick with it for a century until they die. Hey, and like saying it right to a human. Come on. That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been a sorry. Not a sorry don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA. We're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Okay. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. He's such a sweet guy! I... He's the sweetest Krogan! Come to me, Blue Rose of Ilya. Let our three hearts <laughs> beat as two. <laughs> Let our three hearts beat as two. Uh... You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell... I love him, but I don't know if he's permanent bond material. I gotta, I gotta stick up for, I gotta stick up for Char. I have no choice, I gotta stick up Look for Char. Him. He's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby making machine? He said I wasn't, but... 
If he said that, then you either trust him so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. I, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. Glad to help. Glad to bring true love together. And hey, more fishies! Small model of an Alliance cruiser. Small ship model of the ubiquitous Athabasca class freighter. Not a Kowloon class? What about a fish? She loves the garden. We could add a pond. She doesn't need a fish, Dad. Nobody needs a fish. Maybe a shirt. I just bought a, a fish. Helium. Hey, you're blue shifting already. That's funny, right? A sorry skin color and the Doppler effect? <laughs> Dad, let's get her anything. Or don't. I need to get her something. A memento. Uh, I like how... I kind of like how embarrassed the daughter is here. Her first but... mate. Your father? He got her things when he traveled. It's not a competition, Dad. Okay, here's the heartstrings. I don't even really remember him. And she found me after he died. And I'm almost 35. Hey, I remember him. And I want to remember you. That's why I came on this trip. Aww. She I loves her stepdad. Something that'll last. You'll make sure she keeps it. Yeah. I'll make sure. How about this one? When anything goes, it goes to Ilium. That's kind of funny. Mom will love it. Ah. Uh, it goes from funny to sweet so fast. Or actually, funny to sad to sweet. So fast. I, I love that interaction. All right, one more interaction over here. No, I haven't had any luck yet. She insists it was legal. I don't know. I'm going to call in a favor and have a friend examine the contract. Yeah, Shiala, you remember? Oh, I hope y'all remember Shiala. Shepard, I, I don't suppose you'd remember me. Of course I do. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Yep. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it, and saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. Yeah. Of course I remember her. Glad to see that she's doing okay. With green How's skin. How's Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. Hey, glad the to help. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however. Along with what was left of the Thorian. Which was hopefully very little. Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again? Or did the Thorian somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zeus Hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive. Because it's the a PR Thorian win. Did. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. <laughs> I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. Alright, so who do I shoot? Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I prefer not to start trouble. So you're asking Some me. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans. But the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. Well, that sounds bad. So this seems like a rude thing to ask, but it's also an obvious thing to ask. Wait a minute, Shiala. You were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, 
My skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. Yes. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. I can imagine. What kind of health problems did the colonists have? Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. Okay. Sometimes the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. It has to bad. be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. Obviously. Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. Nice I of them. I should have known it was too good to be true. But we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable. Which they have. Well, that's bad. Can they actually force these procedures on you? No. But they can declare us in breach of contract. Which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. Mm. Zoo's hope just got back on its feet. There's no way we can afford that, Shepard. So she's the one I have... I guess not shoot. Shooting her would probably be... Uh, would probably make things worse. But I can punch her, right? I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontiers representative knows about the issue. Aaron, yeah. Right. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest yep. you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. Eh, it's my time to waste. Why are you insisting on these tests? What use could they possibly be? Their use is not your concern. A legal binding contract was signed. Nothing else matters. All of you. Humans. Salarians. Turians. You come to our planet, then complain that our laws don't suit you. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Well. Why are you so prejudiced against aliens? <sighs> Where do I begin? With Salarian explorers unleashing the Rachni upon us, then unleashing the Krogan to correct their mistake? Or the Turians, so eager to bomb every problem away? Or humans, the new arrivals who already think they should be in charge? Every war that has plagued this galaxy has been caused by your people. My people's deaths are on your hands. I'm not going for that other option yet. That option leads to... I thought Asari preferred to mate with other races for genetic diversity. Yeah. A short-sighted mistake perpetrated by the same self-hating malcontents who spawned the hateful term pure blood. We hardly need your alien DNA to randomize genetic material. A little radiation would work just as well. Okay. You provide no diversity, no new insights, no advancement. You bring only chaos and senseless deaths. Ah. Okay. Perhaps we could work out different tests. Something that will work for both sides. If the colonists were not willing to abide by the terms of the contract, they should not have signed it. The onus is Fair. not upon me to accommodate them. So you'd be this harsh in your contract terms if these were Asari colonists? If they were Asari, they'd be dealing with problems unleashed by another race. Asari like my bondmate, who died when the Geth rebelled against the Quarians. Or my daughters, who died during the Geth attack on the Citadel. One worked in the embassy, the other was a greeter for the consort. Ouch. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. 
You seem to forget that a human saved you from Saren and the Geth. The Geth created by the idiotic Quarians? And a hey. rogue Turian specter led in an attack? The okay. Geth didn't start with the Citadel. They attacked your human colony, Eden Prime, first. You humans brought the Geth upon us. You and the Turians are the Quarians. My people's deaths are on your hands. You really think this is legal? Maybe Ilium's contract analyst should look it over. You ignorant yokel. I was negotiating contracts when your ancestors were still burning witches and enslaving each other. Okay. I haven't lost a contract dispute in 70 years. Try me. Right. So you'd be this harsh if they were or my daughters who died. Skipping it because you've seen it before. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I I'm not a... Boom. I didn't... Oh. Yeah, there's the... The shot to the feelings. I'm sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. So yeah. One worked at the embassies. I'm wondering if that was... Uh... I don't remember the name, but uh, the one who was working the reception desk. I'm wondering if it was her. And greater for the... Uh, concert. Pretty sure we met her as well. So, yeah, that's uh, a shame. They were they were both really nice. Any star charts yet? Did you get the star charts? Yeah, I had to deal with Arinya though. I feel like I need a shower. What do you expect? She's a pure blood. They're all like that. Don't be a bitch. Don't be cruel like that. You know Irinya won't even talk to the non-Asari customers. It's like she's turned pure blood into her religion or something. Hey. I heard she lost her daughters when the Geth attacked the Citadel. Right. I'm sure she was a pleasure to deal with before that. Okay. She's the last of a dying breed. Won't be many pure blood Asari left in a few generations. I feel kind of sad for her. Don't. I heard she married an Asari herself, had pure blood kids. She's part of the problem. I like the I like the one that sounds almost like a valley girl. Pure bloods are a waste of genetic potential. That's how we get throwbacks like the Ardat Yakshi. Hey, I don't like pure bloods either, but that's going a little far. Ardat Yakshi. Uh, I don't think we've heard that term yet. They should be prohibited from breeding. Jeez. What was your father again? Salarian. Oh. So, you probably never really got to know him, did you? Shut up. You got the damn star charts? Let's go. Oof. Hey there, Shell. did it. I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus' hope again. I don't think what I, I could have. Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? Yeah. You've got the new contracts. It's fixed for now. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. She's flirting. Is 
she was just flirting with me. I believe, I think she gives a male shepherd a kiss on the cheek. I could be wrong about that, but I think she gives a male shepherd a kiss on the cheek. And uh, I just want to see what uh, sure they actually have here. Weapons and armor are good enough for Eclipse? I'm not going to buy anything yet. Health upgrade, submachine gun damage, assault rifle damage. Using their expertise in policing dangerous situations with limited assets, the Alanis Risk Control Services has created shoulder protection that includes an internal microcontrol system to maximize resources. Fire damage. All right. Yeah, I've got a friend in Eclipse. She told me what I needed to get. Good. Won't buy anything Trust until me. I get the. Uh, coming in from the terminus systems are great for business. Until I get the disc. I don't know. So I'd like to offer a clarification of our That's special report on notorious Dangerous assassin Thane Krios. For us. While Ilium News did credit Thane Krios's legendary skill to his Drell heritage, no offense to the Drell community was intended. Ilium News does not encourage or tolerate prejudice against any sapient species, and apologizes for any unintentional misstatements implying otherwise. All right. One more thing to do before I go talk to Liara. Bad luck on the stock market. Debt piling up. Perhaps you need to explore other options. Indeed, you tech. Paid off my debt and helped me gain valuable job skills. Now, just five years later, I'm a free man. Talk to Indenture Tech to see if indentured servitude is the right career option for you. Remember, the only shame is in doing nothing. Hmm. It's only a matter of time until the US brings that back itself. I need minimal heat oh. increase. And Forget about this guy. Speed. I have extremely high performance requirements. Certainly, sir. Safe, too. I need a 100% safety guarantee of anything going on to my suit. I mean, I can understand that. Do you have anything flashier? I want something that says, I own this room. I own you. I'll see what we can do, sir. She's staying very professional with this creepy ass uh, Alcor hitting up. If this is the best you have, I'll make do. But you're certain the neural stimulators are compatible with both my suit and Asari physiology? <laughs> Absolutely. In fact, I use this model at home, sir. Oh. Do you? Ugh! Creep! What a creep! Alright. Let's do it. Excellent. So the total comes to 116,420 credits. Oof. Oh, of course. I, uh... I just need to make a call. I should, uh... Check the warranty first. Loser. <laughs> Harsh, but fair. All right, biotic damage. Yeah, this is that's useful for me. I should buy this. Ah, why bother? I almost never even use the meta gel. No There's more useful stuff. An unexpected visitor in the form of a rare Jessicar calling herself Samara. Samara denied our request for an interview, leaving us okay. in the dark. So Jessicars are apparently well respected. We're gonna have that asshole arrested. Eh? Watch yourself if you go in there. Some human is causing trouble. He's demanding that I sign the place over to him. Is there anything I can do? Oh no. That crap might fly on Omega, but this is Ilium. I'm hooking up security cams now. If he okay. or anybody else causes trouble, I'll have their asses arrested. Sounds good. And apparently she's got nothing else to say. Prepare yourself. <sighs> You're really holding.
holding out on me? I'm a man on the edge. I got nothing to lose. Uh-huh. I'll do anything to get the job done. I'll go all the way without a second thought. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You want to see how far I'll go? I learned how to shove a gun in people's faces from... Commander Shepard? Hey, if you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? I like this bartender. Is it really you? It's me, Conrad Werner. We met on the Citadel? I wanted to become a specter? Oh, yep. uh, and then you shoved a gun in my face? No, you I didn't. You showed me what it meant to be truly extreme. I learned that lesson well. So you're alive, huh? I hear it goes like that in the biz. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to kick. <laughs> this is the Paragon option. So, uh, Conrad says you shut the gun in his face. Uh, if you choose the Renegade option, uh, like when he asks, when he asks you to help him become a Spectre, the Renegade option is to shove a gun in his face. So. I've mentioned this before. Uh, every all the choices you make in the first game have flags to show to indicate what choice you made uh, for importing into the second game. A few of those flags were broken. Uh, this was one of them. The game just, for some reason, it registered as doing the renegade option, regardless of what you choose. Uh, there is separate dialogue in the game, uh, or caught like in this game. Conrad does have separate dialogue if you chose the Paragon option, uh, but it doesn't register properly. Uh, so you would need to use a mod to get, uh, to get that fixed. And a mod, and mods do exist for that. There is a mod to fix that. Uh, what's weird, I'm not entirely certain why Bioware didn't fix it for the Legendary Edition. That's something that kind of confused me, like, they fixed all the other busted flags. Um, so, one was Shia, uh, Shaira, uh, the, uh, the medical facility that you save all the hostages at in the second in the first game they fixed all the other flags but for some reason they didn't bother fixing this one and i'm not entirely sure why i have a hunch um that it's related to a scene that pops up in the uh in the third game but I'm honestly not entirely sure. Uh, regardless, yeah, they left it busted. Conrad, why are you acting like me? Trying to act What like are me. you, crazy? I'm nothing like you. I'm not a specter working for the council. I'm on my own, backed only by my wits and my nerves. No rules, no laws, just whatever it takes to get the job done. I'm not like you at all. Mm -hmm. Conrad, do you have any actual combat training? I'm saving the galaxy, Shepard. I don't have time for training. Don't you get it? You are a big jerk. But you saved the galaxy and showed other races that humans mattered. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. Oh, fair enough. By the way, uh, for this one, keep an eye on the uh, bartender. How'd you get that armor? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days, if you're willing to pay. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive, but my wife was really supportive. Here we go. She even paid for my shuttle fare off-world. <laughs> <laughs> yep. The, uh... The face palm. <laughs> so you just wander the galaxy writing wrongs? Hey, don't say it like that. I talk to people, you know? 
Ask them if they have big problems that only I can solve. Mm -hmm. You'd be surprised how many people are just waiting for someone to talk to them. Sometimes I poke through crates too, you know, for extra credits. So yeah, uh, in the first game, Conrad was just sort of a kind of a fun little, fun little minor side quest. Uh, yeah, fun Commander Shepard fanboy. This game turns him into uh, a bit of a. This game has him break the fourth wall a bit. So yeah. Talking to random people, poking through crates for credits, yeah. That's Shepard! That's what we that's what you do as Shepard. So yeah, they had fun with uh Gon right here. Any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military, much less part of my squad. I just say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on systems. I'm doing the best I can, okay? Okay, You're that's a fair. Hero. You saved the galaxy and showed everyone what humanity could do. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand dealer. I need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapons store near the carport? She's an undercover cop. Uh, she told me about it when I introduced myself. You broke her cover. Some crap for brains. First, yep. we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. Just let me know if you need any help, Shepard. Yeah, the bartender's fun. Ah, before I go talk to that cop. I still don't see why we're here. Salarians do not get married. My family simply negotiated a reproduction contract. Whatever. It's the closest you guys get to a wedding. And that means you get a bachelor party. End of story. He just wants to watch a stripper. I don't understand. Humans celebrate wedding contracts by tempting infidelity? That makes no sense. Calm down, okay. man. Don't embarrass me in front of the stripper. He has a point. Do. do Turians do this too? I'm just here for the drinks. The Salarian has a point. Bachelor parties are a weird thing. Or at least inviting strippers to bachelor parties is. You said that bachelor parties are for very close friends. We're just co-workers. We've been co-workers for five years, though. Aren't Salarian ears like dog ears? <laughs> okay, now that's offensive. Oh, I love that bit. <laughs> that's great. I appreciate the gesture, but my people don't even have sex drives the way humans do. So? Uh -huh. Take a look at that, man. Everybody likes the Asari. Everybody. But yep. they're actually reproduced by... My word. She is very... Limber. Mm-hmm. I can appreciate her dancing in an aesthetic manner, but I don't have feelings of... She is a lovely shade of blue. Okay. That makes my legs hurt just watching it. And my knees are meant to bend that way. She's not even doing anything. This isn't as bad as I'd fear. It's actually... Is it warm in here? Okay, you see that bit there? The little divot in her abdomen? It's called a belly button. Humans and Asari have them, and you're gonna be doing shots out of it later tonight. That can't be sanitary. Not the point, man. Isn't it, though? I can understand why I might find Asari attractive, but... How can they be attractive to humans, too? They look just like Salarians. Huh? What? They look exactly like us. I'm I, I'm not seeing the Salarian thing at all. At all. You're both wrong. Asari look just like Blue Turians. Look at the head fringe. Wait. You don't think they're, like, mind-controlling us to see them as attractive, do you? Please be quiet. You're going to ruin Asari for me. And there aren't many Turian women on Ilium. <laughs> Yeah, that's such a great conversation. How about another fun conversation before I go so back to then he says, oh, it's okay. Our amino acids are all different. So it's not like we can get diseases or anything if we go natural. I'm telling you, this is why you shouldn't date humans. So then there. I had to explain about cross-species fluid contact. Completely killed the mood. Yep. Not to mention that you're a quarian. How could he be so insensitive? Mm. 
You deserve oh. somebody who respects you. Somebody who's going to treat you right. Oh, I think I'm just going to stop dating for a while. No, don't do that. Don't let some human spoil you. It's always the same thing. Ooh, she could get sick. She's vulnerable. I wonder what she looks like under the helmet. You'll find someone mm -hmm. out there who cares about you for who you are. Someone whose food you can eat, even. I love that. I love this one. The Turian flirting, the Turian trying so hard, and the Corian just ignoring his, uh, his advances. for things to do, maybe after work we could catch a vid or something. Oh, that's sweet. But I'm okay. A little dry spell isn't going to kill me. We could watch sure. Fleet and Flotilla. It got awards for its portrayal of the uh, Turian and Corian relationships. Anyway, if worse comes to worst, I did have the nerve stimulation program built into my suit. And I hear that the love scenes are... What? <laughs> Standard equipment for any responsible adult. Oh, here. Let me fire it up. Uh, in public? Uh, excuse me, human. Private conversation. Ugh. A little space, please. Yeah. You're gonna need some space, dude. After she turned you down and then said that she was just going to get herself off it. Like, why are you booting that up in public? Oh, hey. The other woman's gone. Division of El Elka's Combine makes guns. And apparently they also make I'm looking for the best yeah, shut up. tech upgrade. And apparently they also make Of course. They're in food. Coming up later today, we release our annual list of Ilium's ten richest people. Are the heavens still bright as sorry blue? Or have the volus finally rolled to the top? And don't miss our look at the fashion faux pas at the Commerce Awards held last week. More on financial entertainment daily. Rolled to the top? Jeez, these people are offensive. Listen, I know the data is vital to the Corosa family. Rolled the to the top. Jeez. Yep. Association claims that our portrayal of Blasto insults Hanar society, going so far as to call it exploitation. We at Ilium Entertainment stand by our product, which puts a Hanar in a lead role and notes the growing importance of these respected galactic citizens. We hope that you, the viewer, will decide whether we have done Blasto justice. And to allow you to decide, all first date purchases are 30% off. Ilium <laughs> Entertainment thanks you for your support. I mean, it's definitely Hanar's exploitation. Doesn't necessarily mean that's bad. For it example, seems wonderful. The drug, the one that causes permanent oh, neural scarring. That's horrible. There's a twelve. What about you? Good. Can I help you with something? I talked to an old friend, Conrad Werner. You told him that the Eternity Lounge was selling red sand. Oh, you're Conrad's friend. Yes, that place is really dangerous. I should know. I'm an undercover cop. Did mm -hmm. you give me the deed to the bar? I need the deed to, uh, stop the red sand dealers. <laughs> Ooh, this is the Paragon option. You can There is an option to, um... to get her to back down and uh, to tell Conrad that he did a good job. So there is an option that has that allows Conrad to escape with some dignity. That's not this one. I softened up the bar owner, but you need to go in and finish them off. Really? Are you sure? Absolutely. You just need to close the deal. Go in, be mm. tough, and let them know you're with me. They'll hand the deed right over. Wow, great. <clears throat> 
Here, I'll set you up for a discount. Thanks for the help. Thank you for the discount. I appreciate that. So that's probably useful. Uh, both useful. Extra health. Hmm. Or extra submachine gun damage. I suppose I don't really use the submachine guns often enough. I'm gonna go with uh, submachine gun damage. You can sell something that dangerous with just a contract and a waiver? These are the terminus systems. Everything's dangerous and everything's for sale. Alright, I've heard this one already. So I guess I've heard all the news reports then. I need minimal heating. Oh, shut up. And speed. I have extreme bike shares industry wide. So let's see how that woman Damn it, turned this out. This is just a misunderstanding. Tell it to the judge. My surveillance vids caught your extortion attempt from four different angles. Ooh, I was misled. Nice. I was told that you had agreed to sell. Take her away before I have my bartender throw her out. Yeah, I just screwed that lady over. I feel bad that Conrad is now going to feel what bad. The undercover cop from the weapons kiosk just got arrested. Okay. She wasn't a cop. She was a deep cover operative from a terrorist cell. I'd never <laughs> have found her if not for you. Really? Really. <laughs> you did a great job, Conrad. Now please, go home. Let me take it from here. <laughs> Can do, Shepard. And thanks. It's really good to have you back. Oh, man. That... Really? The way he says it. The way he says... Really? He's so desperate for approval. Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. That makes the other customers nervous. I like anyway, her. This is Eternity, and I'm Athena, a sorry matriarch and bartender. Get you anything? Athena, we've got her name. I love Athena. She is just. She's got such a brutal sense You're of humor. A sorry matriarch? I thought Matriarch served as honored advisors. Right. Yeah. Which I do here at this bar. I know, not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Yeah. Tell me about your mom. mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando stuff. She'd put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. <sighs> yeah, no child wants to... No child wants to know that about their parents. You said your father fought in the Rachni Wars? Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan think they're sexy. Me, I go for asses. When I was a girl, Fair. he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen at a muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. I mean, he was your dad. You pick up stuff from your parents. You do pick up stuff from your parents. If your mother fought in the rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? 
They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. Mm. What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on Good the deck. Told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. I wouldn't really know. My family's dead. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw up with Saren and his geth a few years back. Their ships were hanging bare assed in space when Saren started shooting. If not for you humans, we would have bought it right there. And I <laughs> warned him, told people on Thessia what was coming, and they didn't want to hear it. What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. Still we important. Can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters Does working live earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now I serve drinks. I mean, you work as a stripper. As for making new mass relays, that's a good idea. It's like it is. It's a it's a really good idea. You want to understand? It's important to understand the technology that you're using. Yep, being able to ma reverse engineer technology, it's a great thing to be able to do. What's it like living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That was me. That's the exception though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar, even had a pure-blood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. And one day you wake up, your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone Big else boobs. is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. One thing I find weird is they're Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Catch you anything else? There must Just be looking around. photos. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. Uh, so you can... <laughs> if, you, if you take a couple drinks... Welcome actually, back, babe. Can I get you anything? Sorry, no sex. Just clean the bar. I'd like something to drink. Sure. I'll set up a tab at the drink kiosk. Knock yourself out. Literally, if you want. Just right. don't drink anything for Turians or Quarians. Does nasty things to your insides. Once saw Krogan drink a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Nobody came out of that one looking pretty. Yeah. Thanks for setting up the drinks. Liquefied Pleasure Turian. As always. So I'm going to have a couple drinks. The best Asari hard liquor money can buy. Much more refined than that Krogan swill. A sweet and mellow glass of famous Asari honeymead. Whatever this is, it's rumored to come from the deepest reaches of the Traverse, distilled on a shadowy, nameless planet by specifically adapted fortune. Gonna have a couple of these. I don't think that you can pass out uh, in this bar. But what does happen... Welcome back, babe. Can I get you anything? Sorry, no sex. Just clean the bar. Notice that she Just looks a little bit around. different? Pleasure as always. Yeah, when you drink, uh, Athena looks a little bit different. Alright, so that's everything... That's all the random side stuff on Ilium for now. Yeah. Love that Dirty Harry reference. Uh, 
that's the that's so good. He's got a lover in every port and a gun in every tentacle. So Do you good. Have anything flashy oh, shut up, freak. So, with all that this. done, by the stars, your skin looks amazing. Oh. You're not using biotics to touch things up, are you? Actually, I just tried Exoderm, new Exoderm moisturizing cleanser. They'll never know you've entered the matron stage. Yep, apparently a sorry uh, worry about uh, looking old as well. Anyway. Hello, Commander Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. What a we... You just, you sound weird, lady. Like, what is up with... You just sound so weird. You're Liara's assistant. Yes. Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. What's Liara's reputation here on Ilium? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's Two. amassed a sizable network of connections. Two she years. could have even more political power than she already wields if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. I'll so. talk to you later. Of course, Commander. All right, so what do we remember? The elusive man told us that his contacts told him that uh, Liara was working with the Shadow Broker. So let's so let's see what she's up to. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few hey. humans have. Channeling your mom. Simple. Either you pay me or I flay you alive with my mind. Shepard, Nixeris, hold my calls. There's a change of mood. My girlfriend. I wish the uh, helmet came off in uh, cutscenes like this. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. You have sources now? A few. <laughs> Some of them Sources, used. contacts, even a little hired muscle. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... Well, for the past two years. And now you're back. Gunning for the collectors with Cerberus. She is well informed. If you know that, then you know that I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here. Things I need to take care of. All right. What kind of things do you need to take care of? Are you in trouble? <clears throat> no, no trouble. She but keeps it's been a long up. two years. I had things to do while you were gone. I have debts to repay. Listen, if you want to help, I need someone with hacking expertise. Someone I can trust. Oh, got Tally with if me. If you could disable security at key points around Ilium, you could get me information I need. That would help me a great deal. Hacking a terminal sounds pretty easy. Why do you need me? Again, she gets up. I don't up. know anyone else I can trust. Hacking the security node won't get you the data. It just creates a minor glitch in the system. You'll have a short time to find a local server left vulnerable by that glitch and upload the data to my system. I'm leaving my own system vulnerable so that the data can be imported during that short time. So she needs someone she can trust. Side note. I mentioned that I have Tally with me. And you can also bring Garrus with you. You may have noticed, Tally has not a single, or Liara has not a single damn thing to say to, Le to Tally. And she wouldn't have a single damn thing to say to Garrus. That's one of the, my biggest complaints about this. Bringing Tali or Garrus with you does not result in Liara actually having any interaction with them. They should have had some sort of interaction. But 
they didn't. What's this all about, Liara? Can't you just talk to me? Don't you think I want to, Shepard? This isn't because I don't trust you. This is Ilium. Anything I say is probably being recorded. All right. If it'll help you, I'll take care of it. When you hack one, a server will open somewhere nearby for a short time. You can download data from there, if you hurry. Thank you, Shepard. This may help me pay a great debt. I'll get to them uh, in future episodes. I'll talk to you later, Liara. I know the data is vital to the Corosa yeah. family. The son of Dantius didn't give us time to pack. Now Sastra has recently received an unexpected visitor in the form of a rare also, Justicar. Hey, that is Nasana Dantius. You may remember that name. We'll get to that in uh, a bit. It still sounds like an awful thing to legalize. All the dangers are right there on the package. It's legally required. So consider the way to weed out the people too stupid to know their limits. Quick and easy. Nice. It's just, we're looking for weapons. Shouldn't you be taking- What about a fish? She loves the garden. We could add a pond. She doesn't need a fish, Dad. That's one. Maybe a shirt. Or a card. Eclipse might be fun for you. For me, it's the future. My clan's breeding strategy is at stake. Don't Solarians think about anything like that. Sometimes you say these things, and I don't know. Maybe it's because you had a Batarian father. Wow, mm -hmm. you're pulling that on me? My father was an excellent caretaker. And you're, you're... The word you're looking for is pure blood. Yeah, this one I'm not seeing yet. Oh, there we go. And... There! I really need to go back to the Citadel to buy the uh, hacking improvement. Did you get the star charts? Yeah. I had to deal with Arinia though. I feel like I need a shower. What do you expect? She's oh, a pure there we go. blood. They're all like that. You know Irinya won't even talk to the non-Asari customers. It's like she's turned pure blood into a religion or something. And there's one more where I'm telling you, relax. Vax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in. Because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. An eclipse works, some just a car, I don't know. Nobody is ever going to see the extra merchandise, which is why we're going to be rich. You're sure gateway weapons and armor are enough for eclipse? Yeah, I've got a friend in Eclipse. She told me what I needed to get. Good. I'm pretty good at bypassing firewalls. Maybe they're looking for techs. What about you? Going to try and make it as a commando? Why not? Every Asari has biotics. Might as well use them, right? Damn, that's a hell of a sniper right Thanks. You say so. Yeah, this one is tougher to find. Oh, no, it's not. That's there it is. Shepard, this is Liara. I've got the data. Come see me when Hey, we're friends. I have Oops. never called you that. No, but you're thinking about it. You think it was easy growing Can up? Can we renegade? I did some stupid things to get away from the cards. Tasty fare and skewers are just five credits for a limited time of war for the connoisseur. Try our Carnosaur. Carnosaur. I like that. I can't believe how lovely your scalp looks. Mine is so All right. ugly. And I think there's one more thing to do with Liara, and then I will end the episode. Shepard, it's good to see you again. Thank you for getting me that system data. Here, it's not much, but hopefully it will help you on your mission. Thank you. Do you remember the Shadow Broker? 
With the data you got me, I may be able to find information caches from his agents. Are you on the run from the Shadow Broker? I can help you. Actually, it would be more accurate to say that the Shadow Broker is on the run from me. We crossed nice. paths not long after you died. Since then, I've been working to take him down. With this data, I'm a step closer. All right. So, Liara is hunting the Shadow Broker, not working with him. Which means the elusive man lied to you right at the start. Because he said his his sources said that Liara was working with the Shadow Broker. There's no way his sources got that wrong. So, yeah, he just straight up lied. Which is weird. I've never seen you ready to execute someone in cold blood. What did the Shadow Broker do to you? I was on a job with a friend. The Shadow Broker's people caught us. My friend didn't escape. I don't know if he's dead or being interrogated. But I need to find him. I owe him my life. Yeah. And I need to make the Shadow Broker pay for what he did. You can't come with me because you're after the Shadow Broker? What if I help you find him? I'm sorry, Shepard. The galaxy doesn't work that way. I need to find leads, trace information. I need to work. I can't do that on the Normandy. I wish I could. All right. So this is all covered in a uh, comic. Uh, the whole thing about uh, how all this happened. It's in a uh, comic by the name of uh, Mass Effect Redemption. And uh, on a side note, uh, Mass Effect Redemption features a really big uh, Solarian. Like just this really big muscular Solarian, which you don't see very often. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I will. No. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yes. How's your own work going? The data you gave me was extremely helpful. It gave me a target. The Shadow Broker has several contacts here on Ilium. The most powerful is someone called the Observer. Taking down the Observer will put me closer to the Shadow Broker. I could use your help. Tell me what I can do to help. Happy to help. Your data pointed me at logs kept by Shadow Broker agents. The logs were deleted, but it may be possible to reconstruct some of it. The Shadow Broker is cautious. His agents are referred to only by their title and race. My inquiries okay. have narrowed the Observer down to one of five operatives. A Turian, a Salarian, a Krogan, a Batarian, and a Vorcha. If you can okay. find the list, I'll know where to strike. Do you have any specifics on these agents? I'm afraid not. Nixeris was lucky to get as much as she did. I was happy to help, ma'am. The data is our only hope of determining which one is the Observer. And if we wait too long, they'll all disappear. Obviously not going to work, because they would just go to ground. I'll reconstruct the data and tell you what I find. Thank you, Shepard. When you find something, call me on the radio channel we used in the old days. I can't risk handling this in person. I'll talk to you later, Liara. So after I do this side quest, uh, I will end the episode. This won't take too long. Uh, so much hacking. Vorcha Trader has requested no further contact with the Solarian. Solarian is becoming more trouble than he is worth. Observer recommends a kill, but she may have a grudge. Alright, so that indicates that probably the Vorcha and Solarian are uh, likely not who we're looking for.
Turi in contact, working well with the traitor. Observer has rescinded kill order against him, given difficulty in securing contact with the traitor through other methods. You should try it my way. Look at how the wind's blowing. I... well, I guess it's not like I attack those colonies. I'm just watching trends. Whatever you say, pardon me. Cell! Cell at 40! Like, I almost lost just because they weren't, weren't giving me the option I need. I need to get that hacking extension. Trader tried to kill the Batarian. Claims it was because he hates slavers, but the men were more likely fighting over money. Watch for now. Uh, I don't think there's any back here. Twenty-five. Sell at twenty-five. No, no, no. You're not hearing me. I want to buy it up. Buy it all up. Come on, give me something. Um, around here, maybe? Here we go. Whoops. There we go. Turian's asking too many questions. Observer recommends terminating him and framing assassin or Solarian contact. A Batarian training group has announced plans to sue the Citadel Council. The Batarians claim this. And last one is in the bar. Here we go. So, let's go through them in order. Trader tried to kill the Batarian. Claims it was because he hates slavers, but the men were more likely fighting over money. Watch for now. Smuggler and Assassin have refused to work with the Vorcha due to lack of trust. Odd to see scruples from the men at this point. The Turian's asking too many questions. Observer recommends terminating him and framing Assassin or Solarian Contact. Turian Contact working well with Trader. Observer has rescinded kill order against him, given difficulty in securing contact with the trader through other methods. Forge the trader has requested no further contact with the Solarian. Solarian is becoming more trouble than he is worth. Observer recommends a kill, but she may have a grudge. Shepard, did you get any information on the Observer? All right, so you go through. We know it's not the Solarian. We know it's not the Vorcha. We know it's not the Turian. We know it's not the Batarian. So, that only leaves the Krogan. Except... A Krogan, a Krogan female? Krogan female on Ilium? Doesn't seem very likely, does it? All five of the suspects are male. The Observer is female. Something's not right. Who gave you this lead? My assistant. So that one does require a little bit of thought uh, about 
about the Krogan. It does sort of require that you realize. Forty percent. That's not great. But yeah, it requires that you sort of think through it's about the Krogan have, do. and realize so that a Krogan female is not likely to leave. Is not likely. Yeah, a, uh, a real estate company is saying that uh, that there's a correlation between uh, in uh, intelligence and taller habitats. Surely an unbiased uh, study. But anyway, yeah, yeah, like it requires that you think through and realize Krogan females don't really leave Tachanka. All right. Shepard, it's good to see you again. Nixeras had some interesting data hidden away. Thank you, Shepard. I wouldn't have caught her without you. I'm one step closer to the Shadow Broker thanks to you. Here. Nixeras was very well compensated. You need it more than I do. Did you Damn have right any I trouble do. with Nixeras? She was very talented. I imagine that had she been ordered to assassinate me, I had never seen her coming. But her barriers needed practice. Practice I'm afraid she won't be getting. Sorry I missed the fight. What's the next step in your hunt? Now I gather information, peel away layers of lies, and shine light into the shadows. And when I find the Shadow Broker, I hit him with a biotic field so strong that what's left of his body will fit into a coffee cup. Nice. That anger can't be just from what you've told me. What else happened between you and the Shadow Broker? Ooh, here's Did important. Did ever tell you how they recovered your body? Yeah. I gave it to them. I gave you to them, Shepard. Because they said they could rebuild you. And to do that, I had to take it from the Shadow Broker, who was going to sell your corpse to the Collectors. Well, damn. Why didn't you tell me about this before now? Because I screwed it up, Shepard. I barely escaped with my own life. And when I gave you to Cerberus, I told myself I was doing it for you. For a chance to bring you back. But I knew Cerberus would use you for their own business. And I let it happen. Because I couldn't let you go. I'm sorry. It's okay. I understand. You did the right thing, Liara. My mission is important. I couldn't do it if you hadn't given me to Cerberus. Thank you. I... I was afraid you'd hate me. So that's why I must destroy the Shadow Broker. For what he did to my friend, and to you, and whatever he's doing with the Collectors. So here's something... So that's even weirder. So Cerberus got my body from the Ark. So Cerberus definitely knew absolutely knew that she wasn't working with the shadow broker so why lie I don't like. I feel like I feel like uh, the elusive man's line about Liara working with the shadow broker I feel like that almost came from like an earlier draft and they just never changed it like an early draft, like I'm, I'm probably wrong about this, but that's how it feels. Like it had come from an earlier draft where they had some different ideas, and they just never changed it. I doubt that's what happened, but that's how it feels, because it just makes no sense for the elusive man to tell me that 
Liara was working with the Shadow Group. It just, it's, it's just weird. Like, he could have just said that, you know, she's, that she's hunting the Shadow Burger. I don't know. He could have said something else. And as, it's just, it just strikes me as weird because it's like, because now Shepard's going to be like, ugh. What else is this? What else is this bastard lying to me about? Is there anything else you need from me? No. You've done enough. If I find anything useful, I'll let you know. For now, I need to do what I do. No. Is there anything else I can help you with? Nope. I'll talk to you later, Liara. All right. So, Liara as an information broker. It's weird to me. Because, like, it doesn't really... Two years since she became, like, one of the best information brokers out there, it's just... It's weird? It's just a strange how fast she became good at it. Anyway. A regional hub of Asari commerce awash in riches, Ilium is infamous for its abusive labor practices and legalization of nearly everything except murder. As such, Ilium is the preferred production site for weapons and pharmaceuticals that would be illegal nearly everywhere else, made even more lucrative by legal indentured servitude. Among the biotics-related pharmaceutical producers is the Dantius Corporation a rising star in galactic commerce. Despite the dangers of its products, Ilium is renowned for glamour, luxury, and safety, provided by near total surveillance, making it a favored tourist destination. Countless celebrities maintain palatial estates on Ilium and in its capital, Nos Astra. The sole obstacle to business on Ilium is its extensive bureaucracy, tolerated only for its provision of security. Regardless of the character of its economy, Ilian's self-congratulatory media exalts its own society with the provincial arrogance of new money, glorifying in sexiest CEOs and ten richest residents lists. Yeah. So basically, Ilium is Manhattan. Really, really. Ilium, Ilium is Manhattan. <laughs> it's sort of the best, uh, the best comparison to make. Like, not even New York City. Specifically, it's Manhattan. All the rich people, all the businesses, all the skyscrapers. Yeah. I guess she... I forget if it's in a conversation that I missed already or if she says it later, but uh, Liara does mention that uh, being an information broker is like isn't too different from archaeology. Uh, just that the bodies still smell. Something along those lines. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's still just weird that two years and she's that. And she's come that far. But I guess she is pretty remarkable. And has a pretty great mom. I love her, uh, I love her paying homage to her mother when we first uh, enter the room. It's, it's sweet. Alright, so anyway. Uh, that is enough for this episode. More than enough. Honestly, I probably should have, uh, probably should have only done half of it, uh, here, and then the other half of it. Eh, whatever. Too late now. So, that's it for this episode. 
uh, next episode, I'm going to get the assassin. Uh, but for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.